Here comes T-Rex Cottontail. Written by Lewis Gramblin. T-Rex was looking in the mirror. Not bad, he said. Not bad at all. Just then, the doorbell rang. He answered it. It was his friend, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. Why the funny ears and big cottontail? Diplodocus asked. Tomorrow is Easter, Stegosaurus said, not Halloween. Peter Cottontail, a.k.a. Easter Bunny, has a cold, T-Rex said, and he asked me to deliver his eggs tomorrow. But you can't hop, Iguanodon said. I've been practicing, T-Rex said. The three friends looked around. Where are the eggs? They asked. At his house, T-Rex answered. I'm hopping down there now to get them. Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon watched as T-Rex wobbled and hopped out the door. I'm afraid those eggs are in for a shell-shattering trip tomorrow, Stegosaurus said. T-Rex can practice when he gets back, Iguanodon said. Too late, Diplodocus said, looking out the window. Poor T-Rex, wobbling and hopping up the bunny trail. He stumbled and fell and landed cursed flat on Peter Cottontail's basket full of eggs. What a mess. T-Rex walked slowly into the house. What now? His friends asked. I don't know, T-Rex answered. Suddenly, T-Rex had an idea. We'll get more eggs, he said, and color them. Then... I'll have some to deliver on Easter morning. Where will we get more eggs? Stegosaurus asked. Hen gave all of hers to Peter Cottontail. There must be more out there somewhere, T-Rex said. Diplodocus grabbed the empty basket. Stay here and practice, he said. We'll get the eggs. By the end of the afternoon, T-Rex had gotten the wobble out of his hop, and his friends had gotten more eggs. T-Rex was pleased. Where did you get them? He asked. From duck and goose and turkey, Stegosaurus said, and one from Screech Owl. We better start coloring them now, Iguanodon said, or we won't be done until dawn. Late that night, all the eggs were colored. T-Rex and his friends were asleep and snoring. Unfortunately, when the sun came up, T-Rex and his friends were still sleeping, but the children weren't. They were at their windows, awake and waiting. Shouts of, where are you, Easter Bunny, could be heard. T-Rex heard him. He jumped up. He put on his funny ears, his cottontail, long twitching whiskers, jacket, and bow tie. I'll save an egg for Peter Cottontail, T-Rex said to his friends. Meet me at his house later. We'll give it to him then, he said, hopping out the door. The children were still at their windows, waiting and worrying, until T-Rex hopped into view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big cottontail hopping down that bunny trail. When all the eggs, except one, had been delivered, T-Rex started hopping back up the bunny trail. Thanks for our eggs, Mr. Really Big Cottontail, the children called after him. Any time, T-Rex called back. T-Rex hopped to Peter Cottontail's house. His friends were already there. Do you have the egg? They asked. T-Rex nodded and rang the doorbell. Peter Cottontail answered it. T-Rex handed Peter Cottontail the egg. For me? Peter Cottontail asked. T-Rex and his friends nodded. No one has ever given me an Easter egg before, he said. Thank you. But then the egg began to crack open. Crack, 
crack, crack, crack, and dozens of tiny ducks started quacking, and dozens of tiny geese started honking, and dozens of tiny turkeys started gobbling. This is the best Easter ever, the children shouted. Then, Peter Cottontail's egg began to crack open. Crack! And one tiny screech owl started screeching. Peter Cottontail was surprised and delighted. This was the noise, noisiest Easter ever, he said. The noisiest and the best. I shall never forget it. Nor shall we, said T-Rex and his friends. Happy Easter, everybody!